Hey guys, it's me, Clone Trooper X39 here doing weekly update number 66. Now, a lot of you guys love my vlog number 60 where I showed my new room. So we are back. I've done a lot lately since I think it was about a week ago I did that video. So let's get started. So first off, I'm going to try to give you guys a better perspective of the size of this room. So let's see here. First, there are my feet. You know, I just walk in the door here. Um, so right as I walk in, I got these organizers. Now most of this is all temporarily um, placed for now. I'll give you guys a rundown of what I'm thinking on doing. Um, kind of as an update from my last video. So first off, we got these organizers right here. I've got a bunch of them. Um, once again, temporary. I'm going to go... I guess I'll start on this side and kind of move over, then go in the closet. But um, first off, here is just a regular six foot by thirty-two inch table. Um, that I might replace it with an eight foot, but it might be a little crammed when you walk in because it'll come right there. But I'm not really worried about that. I rather have two extra feet to build mocks for you guys. So that semi temporarily. Um, we got this huge wall. Like you disappear in the camera. Like you don't know how big it is right now. But, like, there's a perspective with the door. Um, but huge ceiling height in this room. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 10 feet. So that's pretty awesome. It might even be 12 because I'm 6 foot. Just from looking up, um, I think it's at least 10 foot, which is awesome. But I'm basically going to take black shelves, like you might have seen in my other um, rooms, go all the way along there, all the way along there, so I can put a bunch, bunch of Lego sets up there. Now, I'll get in detail of what lego sets and stuff are up there but for now like i said organizers over here we got a six foot table here i'm basically going to replace this with a custom table i talked a little bit about this in my other video um, or my vlog so basically i'm going to make a custom table that's going to be basically um instead of table or desk height it's going to be about table height so it's going to be you know like if i'm standing up it's going to be kind of like at my gut i guess you could say um or my stomach height. Um, that way it's a good standing up table, it's a good work table, and it's gonna be about eight feet from that corner, and it's probably going to sit flush with this corner, go all the way down to eight feet, which is right about here because there's an outlet um, right behind there, and I don't wanna cover that up. So basically it'll be this big wooden countertop that'll have a bunch of drawers and such there. Um, I don't know what color, it's probably gonna be white, and the tabletop's gonna be Similar to this kind of color. Um, let me turn on the lights, see if that helps out. There we go. Um, so it'll be something like that, um, but it'll be like a wood um, countertop. That way I can store all my products in there. It'll free up a lot of space in here, and it'll just look better overall, I think. It'll really tie the room together. Then, it, like I said, it's a good workspace if I want to do a really long mock. Um, then again, if I'm replacing this with the eight foot table, it doesn't really matter. Um, but there's a few organizers uh, Organizers there. Then we got just a bin of stuff that's been up in my bedroom. If you're watching this, um, it's probably going to be a cutscene, and I'm going to show my upstairs um, bedroom at my current house that I'm living in and my office at that house as well. And this is the new office, so that's what I'm going to call it is the new office. Um, so, like I said, we'll start here, go over there. So we're kind of done speaking over here. So then, kind of the middle of the room here, we have this glass L-shaped desk. Now, I used this when I was really little for my desk in my other Lego room. Um, it's kind of small, but instead of putting my computer over there, um, it is nice that it, if I wanted it to put it there, because there's all these holes, there's even one under there, um, that I can put all the wiring down and it'll like be hidden. I can put my monitor there, I could sit here, you know, feet under there. They even left this little pull-out keyboard tray. Um, but basically, I don't like looking at a wall if I'm doing computer work. Like at my current office, um, you can tell that I have a window and I can kind of look out and get some good light in. Well, here I have some awesome windows. It's like blinding. Um, so I thought, why not put my computer here? The cable jack is right under there, and it'd be a lot easier to go right under the carpet there and then come out right here versus having to wire it all the way over the ceiling and then down. So first off, it's kind of a win-win, you know, it makes it easier and cheaper on the cable guys to rewire that. Actually, 
makes it so easy. I could probably do that. Just unstretch the carpet there. Um, but yeah, so the cable jack's right there. And that would make good sense. So I could put my monitor here, like that. Keyboard on one side or in the center. Um, and then I still got some workspace and I can, I'm going to be getting a, like a plastic floor mat. Um, I'll show you guys when that arrives. That way my chair can wheel around and I can swing around, have this huge workspace to work on. Um, and I can put my computer right under there so I can get at it and whatnot. And I'm probably eventually going to get another monitor. I do have multiple monitors, but the one I have is like a Dell and it's a few years old. So it's not the best, but it would work. And then off of this, I'm planning on taking this six foot table and either stretching it out like this or going like this. Um, that way I have kind of a U-shaped workspace. And um, yeah, I think that would look pretty awesome. So just trying to take advantage of space here. Then I have no idea what I'm going to be using that tabletop for. Maybe packing orders or something. I don't know because I want to have this probably, that custom table will probably be all the products and stuff. And I like to have this as my main mock table. And like I said, this is a six foot table that would probably be going here. Um, that means that table would be available as well as I have an, a bunch of eight feet tables. Um, so the eight foot table could go there. This could go here. That would be gone because I'd have a custom table. And I could use that if I wanted to put it right here. So I could have an even larger mock. I know Chris Production Studios, if you're watching this, I know you do that. You have two I believe they're six foot tables, might even be eight foot, but you put it together and then take one down if you don't need it. So that's a good idea. So I got that from him watching his logs the other day. Anyways, going back to this masterpiece here, um, I got most of my Lego sets, actually not even close to most, um, more or less, I kind of wanted to take advantage of this space and I don't want to put up sets that I'm not going to look at in, you know, I don't want to put up ugly looking sets, I guess. So, like all the military vehicles, I think those are cool. Um, some of these original sets I really like. Um, those are kind of cool and whatnot. Like the MTT, like that's kind of ugly to be honest. Like it's just this big reddish brown glob um, from a distance back here. So when you walk in, you know, you want to have some cool looking stuff up there. And then again, I'm going to probably save these two um, for books and whatnot. And the higher up shelves, I have plenty more Lego sets um, that I got to build and put up there. Um, but for now, nothing much in here. You know, we got like some pencils and stuff like that. Only thing in here are some base plates down there. And then over here, we got all this used, um, some of it's used Lego as well as new Lego that are bagged up that I was selling at BrickCon, but whatever didn't sell, I'm going to eventually upload to my Brickling store. So that's a huge um, task on its own. And that's not even half of it. I still got more at my um, old house. Walking into the closet here. We've done a lot since you guys seen it. So first off, we cut some 16th inch plastic. Um, that way I can set things and they won't fall through. Um, so I got all that for all up here. So that's awesome. As well as all these bins are filled with sets. These sets, um, like I said, I was I had all these sets out there and I was like um, putting them up and I realized, you know, like, that's not really the coolest thing to look at. So I'm probably either going to part these out or sell them whole on BrickLink. So I got a bunch of those sets. These sets I just brought over when I came over to do this video. We got, like, the Malevolent, a whole bunch of stuff you got to rebuild. I'm eventually going to be doing reviews on all of these. As well as more sets in here that are kind of ugly to me. Um, Jet, or whatever that's called, uh, Z Headhunter or whatever, Z95 Headhunter. And then we got all my box Lego sets down here. Now these are all box, brand new and complete, like a Simpsons minifigure case. All these sets. And uh, most of these I'm going to keep like that. Some of the smaller stuff I'll be giving away, like I said, once I get completely moved into the house. And we are like four subscribers away from 8,000. So let's go check my phone here, see if we made it yet. Okay. So go to YouTube. I have it right here. All right, so we are 7,996. Don't know if you can read that. So thank you all for subscribing. By this video is uploaded, it'll probably be 8,000. And once again, okay, so we have all the sets there. We're going to be putting all my parts under here for now. Like, again, might be temporary, you know, like sorted parts. 
and I'll have all my bins under here. That way there's not a lot of clutter out there. We got kind of an empty stack on that I was using for spacing while doing all of this. So this is three stack ons high. Let's see if I can get far enough in the back. So there you can kind of see it. Three high. And I'm super mad because these are like 15 and a half inches long. And I'm literally like a quarter of an inch shy. Like you can see that's how much space I needed. Just that much um, to, begin, to be able to go four wide. So now I have like this weird gap. This one's hanging. Um, I guess I could kind of put them in like this. But then it's kind of hard to get the drawers. So I currently have that one is Bricklink parts. That one's personal parts. So here's my Bricklink store. It is now open bricks to you on Bricklink. There's a link down there. Won't go into too much detail. Then we got other like sets that are on Bricklink and whatnot instructions. And then we still got all this space up here. It was all the way around. Um, this is all Bricklink stuff too. Um, but basically, I put up two more shelves. So there's that one, and then there's one right as you go in the closet. And those are really sturdy. This one's even better. So that's good for throwing like boxes up there that I don't want to worry about. Even up here, I won't even see it because you walk in. You know, it might cast a little bit of a shadow because of the light, but other than that, I think it's going to be awesome, really maximizing the space here. So, we'll eventually see um, really what, um, you know, I'm, who knows, I might need more space, but once I get all my stuff here, we'll see what it looks like. And then over here, I forgot to mention, I'll put my, like, waste paper basket, you know, just kind of a weird corner over there that I won't be able to use. Um, but, yeah, so that is kind of my room so yeah so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for all the support on that last video really made me happy you guys enjoyed that and hopefully i'll be doing some reviews on some of these inbox sets soon um i know i said i want to open up but or wouldn't open them but some of them i bought um to review before i moved so yeah so hopefully there will be a video around Friday or so, I'll hopefully be doing another video over the weekend. My voice is getting sore and I've got stuff to do and I'll let you guys go.